Won't you please be seated? Engulfed by the glory of God, the scriptures tell us that the shepherds were sore afraid. And yet, because of God's glorious mercy, which has come to us as a child to be embraced, we know that we need not be afraid to stand in the light of God's love, confessing all that has separated us from God and from one another. Come, let us confess our sins, knowing that God has come so that we need not bear them alone. Let us pray. Loving God, you kept your promise to bring light into the world and to guide our steps into the paths of peace. You sent us Jesus, and from him we receive salvation. Yet we confess to being less than faithful in our response. We have been tentative and cautious rather than bold and generous witnesses like Simeon and Anna. We have not searched for signs of your love or trusted the goodness of your good news. We have failed to praise your son's birth as we have refused his peace on earth. We have expected little and hoped for less. Redeeming God, may your coming once again reorder our priorities, renew our commitments, and refashion our witness Cast out our sin and enter in. Remake us in your grace. Amen. Friends, hear this good news. Christ has come so that we might have life and have it more abundantly. Know that your sins have been forgiven and live in peace. Amen. Amen. 